In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Yuzu emulator for Android. And I will be downloading the free version, not the paid version. The phone I am using is a Samsung Galaxy S22, and the controller I will be pairing it with is the GameSir X2 Pro Type-C controller. Okay, let's go ahead and open the Play Store. Then you want to search for Yuzu emulator. This is what it should look like. Go ahead and install. Once it's done, go ahead and click on open. Hit get started. Go ahead and grant permission for notifications. And this is up to you. If you would like for Yuzu to send you notifications, I'm gonna go ahead and allow. Next. Now you have to locate your product keys on your device. Now I cannot tell you where to download these keys from. Just do a Google search and you should be able to find them. Once you have them downloaded, go ahead and select keys. Locate on your phone, wherever they are. Key successfully installed. Next. Now we can go ahead and add games. Select the folder where your games are located and use this folder. And then you will have to allow Yuzu access to that folder. Games directory selected. Next. We are done. Continue. Okay, we are now in the app and our games have been installed. Now let's go to our settings, which will be in the top left. Let's scroll down and click on advanced settings. Go to system and where it says dock mode, we're going to turn this on so we can up our game's resolution. Now let's go back and go to graphics. Click on resolution. Now by default, it's going to be on 1080p and I don't recommend upscaling it past 1080p. No matter how powerful your Android phone is, this app really isn't optimized to run over 1080p yet. Now, if you are getting some slowdown and lag in your game, then you may want to bump this back to 810p. And that may smooth out your gameplay. Let's go back. And if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see V-Sync. So if you want to turn on V-Sync, you can do that here. I'm going to leave it off. Let's go back to our main menu. Okay, now we can go ahead and load up a game. So you'll notice when you first get into your game, you have on-screen touch controls. Now, if you are using a controller with your phone, you want to swipe your screen to the left, hit the back button, go ahead and hit input overlay. Go ahead and check the box next to FPS counter so we can see our frame rate. Go back to input overlay and uncheck the box next to show overlay. Now hit the back button and now you will be able to use your controller without the on-screen touch controls. 